I am in the Mortal Science Cultivation Introduction. Luo Hong stands in front of the gate of Huangfenga Mountain, and at this moment he has to admit the fact that he has traveled to the mortal world. Pushing the glasses that no longer existed, Luo Hong firmly said, like Han Laoma, I am a fourth grade fake spiritual root, but I don't have a small bottle. It seems that there is only one path to scientific cultivation left. Why is there a bottleneck every four layers during the gas refining period? How to maximize the probability of foundation construction? What are the factors that affect the speed of cultivation? How fast does Han Laomo run? When cultivating immortality in this world is an objective fact, then science is cultivating immortality, and cultivating immortality is science. Group Deduction 607277622, come and play, the boss has checked in. Listing Remarks You are listening at NovelFull.audio There's nothing to say, it's going to be on the shelves tomorrow. I just need a first order and let you know our future update plans. We also have a book group called 607277622. Welcome to join the group. I have already added a large number of meat muffins. At my current coding speed, 6,000 words per day is still acceptable, but 8,000 words is a bit of a limit. So after we put it on the shelves, theoretically it would be 6,000 words per day, but it would require a lot of updates. However, as a worker, I only have two chapters to save, and if my liver burns, it would probably only be 10,000 words on the day it was put on the shelves. The rest is what I owe everyone, um I owe 20 chapters. How about updating 8,000 words for 20 consecutive days as much as possible? In addition, for the first order placed within 24 hours of listing, an additional chapter will be added for every 100 orders. The same applies to both orders and returns. If you give a reward, if you accumulate over 10,000 starting coins, you will receive an additional chapter. Let's see then. Maybe after about a month of daily growth of 8,000, I will adapt to this rhythm and continue to grow by 800, so I can even increase to 10,000 per day. Finally, I'll just nag you one more sentence, asking for the first order. I'll rely entirely on your penny. Leave. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, brothers, there's a power outage and we're working on repairs. We don't have any more tonight. I'm sorry, I'm guilty. Consultation note. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, brothers, I'll try my best to handle the trivial matters in a day. Chapter 1. Entering Huangfeng Valley for the first time. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Nephew Luo, the front is the Taiwe Mountains. In just a cup of tea time, you will arrive at our master's cave. Please calm your mind first and don't lose etiquette in front of your own ancestors. Lu Jing stood at the head of the flying boat, gently persuading a young man with a plain appearance and fair skin. Uncle Lu, don't worry about him, he's just a fake spiritual root waste who just scrapes together. Yeah, yes, Uncle Lu, can you tell us what kind of person Jidan Shizu is? Can our ancestors be very fierce? Looking at these young people who had jumped out, Lu Jing shook his head helplessly and only said, You will know when you see your master, and then stopped speaking. However, Luo Hong, who was rejected by her companions, paid no attention to this and continued to lie by the side of the boat, carefully observing the two rows of oars protruding from the spirit boat. The spirit boat is flying in the air, and there is no spiritual energy surging on the oar. What is the use of this oar? Is this boat still amphibious between sea and air? Unable to understand the reason behind it, Luo Hong chose to temporarily give up, smooth out her messy hair bun that had been blown by the wind, and tidy up her newly acquired Huang Fenga school uniform. It has been a year since she traveled and Luo Hong has long been accustomed to acting as a 14-year-old boy, and has fully accepted this unfamiliar and familiar world. There is no mention of the past or past. 
In this life, Luo Hong is a collateral disciple of the Li family in the state of Yu, carrying a false spiritual root with missing wood in the five elements. She has been cultivating immortality since childhood. This time, I was able to join Huang Feng Valley, one of the seven major sects in the cultivation world of the Yu Kingdom. It was all because the ancestor of the clan, Li Huayuan, served as an elder in the valley. He recommended five young people in the Qi refining period from the clan to join the valley every ten years. Originally, with Luo Hong's qualifications, it was not his turn to have such an opportunity. After all, the Li family is a big family that has been passed down for hundreds of years, and the members of the direct and collateral clans combined are enough to fill a city. However, in this round, only four young people with good qualifications were selected by Luo Hong. As a fan of mortals, Luo Hong naturally knew who Lu Jing and Li Huayuan were. Before boarding the ship, he asked his ancestor how many disciples he had now. Lu Jing replied that he had seven, ranking third. After building the foundation, Han Laomua became Li Huayuan's eighth disciple, which means that he is either still looking at the medicine garden or has not yet entered the valley. After entering the valley, I want to find an opportunity to visit Bai Chao Garden as soon as possible to make plans for the future. Looking at the four young men and girls who were talking and laughing not far away, unaware of the dangers of the cultivation world, Luo Hong constantly warned herself to firmly follow the cultivation path of Han Lamo. Stability in words is the first priority, planning before action. Don't ask too much, asking is just asking. Since it was decided, take immediate action. Luo Hong quietly stood behind the four companions and planned the fastest escape route. After a curtain of water, Li Huayuan's cave was decorated uniquely, with birds singing and flowers fragrant, and spiritual energy permeating everywhere. It truly allowed Luo Hong to experience the magnificent scenery of the immortal family, and her heart was even more hopeful for cultivating immortality. These are pills that strengthen the foundation and nourish the essence. Each person should take a bottle of them and cultivate well after entering the valley. Don't provoke trouble. If any of you can build a foundation, I will take him as a disciple. All right, go ahead. Li Huayuan remained indifferent to Luo Hong and others, met once, and after giving them pills, he wanted them to leave. There is a hidden meaning in the words that one must not misuse his name before building the foundation. The four teenagers were still somewhat afraid and aggrieved, but Luo Hong understood the reason behind it. Li Huayuan has been practicing alchemy for at least a few decades. Even though there are only five recommended positions every ten years, the number of family descendants he has recommended to enter the valley has reached double digits. However, none of his disciples are from the Li family, which shows how disappointed he is with his own descendants. Meeting once is just a routine matter. In the world of cultivating immortals where the weak prey on the weak, how can one enter the eyes of the cultivators in the period of alchemy without building a foundation? Ancestor, ever since I learned that I could enter Huang Feng Valley for cultivation, I have been overjoyed day and night. I am deeply grateful for my ancestor's kindness, so today I dare to offer the spiritual medicine that has been cultivated in my family for generations. A cultivator in the early stage of qi refining was able to witness the major overhaul of the Jidan period, which was a chance in itself. Luo Hong was already prepared for this and convinced his grandfather in charge to let his grandson strive for a brighter future. Well, filial piety is good, but generally spiritual medicine is useless for cultivators in the stage of forming pills, so you don't need to take it out. Li Huayuan lightly stroked his long beard, his expression calm and indifferent to Luo Hong's rainbow farts. Old boy, it's true that if you don't see a rabbit or scatter an eagle, Today I'll let you know what the true fragrance law is. Forgive me for being ignorant and ignorant, for not even knowing that the purple sunflower capital, which has been cultivated for five hundred years. What are you talking about? Five hundred years of Ziang flowers. Bring them to me now. Li Huayuan was pleasantly surprised. If it were a five hundred year old purple sunflower, it would be of great use to him. The pill refined from this flower not only helps his cultivation, 
but also replenishes the vitality damaged by decades of refining iron essence. Luo Hong dared not procrastinate and took out the jade box from the storage bag. I saw Li Huayuan with a right palm, and the jade box was sucked into his palm. All right. All right. This medicine is very good. You're actually a young person. Speak up quickly, what do you want? Don't talk nonsense like nothing for nothing. Dot. Li Huayuan was very satisfied after inspecting Ziang Flower, and his words showed a lot of enthusiasm towards Luo Hong. To be honest with my ancestors, I would like to request a few bottles of white lotus pill and a set of water spirit gathering formation plates. Luo Hong made no secret of her desires, as it was impossible for the rabbit to make the lion owe him a favor. Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net White Lotus Pill Ha, huh, you're quite similar to me. Take it, this is what you want, and I'll give you another hundred spirit stones to drive the array. With a flick of his sleeve, Li Huayuan saw those spiritual objects carrying their spiritual light sneaking into Luo Hong's storage bag on their own. After coming out of Li Huayuan's cave, Lu Jing led Luo Hong and others through the process of collecting apprentices in Huangfeng Valley. Later, when assigning them positions, he deliberately kept Luo Hong until the end. What instructions does senior uncle have? Luo Hong has some doubts. Lu Jing is a rare upright person among cultivators, who hates evil as if he were an enemy. He probably wouldn't covet what I just bought. I guess. I don't know. Nephew Luo, this time I want to thank you very much. Master, decades ago, he lost his bet with someone and was forced to spend a lot of time refining iron essence, which damaged his vitality. As a disciple, I often worry about this. Although my nephew is not aware of this matter, he has also helped me with a concern Lu Jing patted Luo Hong's shoulder, feeling that the new disciple looked very pleasing to the eye. Ah. Originally, he meant to say this. In fact, I not only know about this matter, but also know that your master will soon lose again. My nephew is willing to pass on the spiritual medicine from his family to cultivate immortality. I believe his Tao heart is extremely strong. Senior uncle, I have specially left you a vacant position for your cultivation. Come with me. I have truly treated a gentleman's belly with the heart of a petty person this time. After listening to Lu Jing's words, Luo Hong couldn't help feeling a bit guilty and had a good impression of him. When he was blown by the cold wind from the sky, a flash of inspiration flashed in his mind, and his eyes suddenly widened and became bright. Amazing! This routine is most suitable for making friends with people who are seriously suspicious and sick. I have learned it. Chapter 2 The First Law of Immortal Cultivation You are listening at NovelFull.audio During the foundation period, the cultivator flew at an extremely fast speed in the sky, and in a moment, Luo Hong was taken over a small mountain by Lu Jing. This mountain is only seven or eight zhang high, with lush trees, green grass, and abundant vitality. It is surrounded by spiritual fields all around, and it is early summer. The rice seedlings in the fields are light and crisp, swaying with the wind, making the spiritual platform clear. This place is called Fanghua Garden, which is one of the few Lingtian manors in the valley. You are practicing the basic technique of water movement, so it is most suitable to be the Lingyu master here. After introducing Luo Hong, Lu Jing took out a book and a talisman from the storage bag. This book contains various responsibilities of the Spirit Rain Master, which you will need to study in detail later. Here is also my message. If you encounter any difficulties that cannot be solved, use your magic to urge them to let me know. Luo Hong respectfully received this book and talisman, feeling grateful for her luck in meeting such a good person when she first entered the cultivation world. Watching Lu Jing's back disappear from the sky, Luo Hong was determined to change the fate of his death in the future. There is a unique courtyard on the hill, which will be Luo Hong's future residence. After sorting out the gifts, Luo Hong opened the book left by Lu Jing and read it carefully. He didn't want to let the good job he had just obtained fall through. 
Well, not bad. As stated in this book, the hundred-acre spiritual field in Fonghua Garden is usually taken care of by ordinary people from the cultivation family. I only need to urge the main house's magic array to rain spiritual rain every day, which is indeed very leisurely. Luo Hong nodded and put the book aside. With a movement of her divine sense, the pens, ink, paper, and ink stones stored in her storage bag appeared on the desk. Smoothing the white paper, Luo Hong picked up her pen and wrote the two characters, Xiu Xian. Once I entered Huangfeng Valley, I officially set out to repair the railway line. There have been cultivators in the human world for more than tens of thousands of years, but no one can clearly explain what cultivation is. Some seniors leave messages in the book, saying that cultivating immortality is like cultivating a life of growth, while others say that cultivating immortality is about seeking freedom, and even more seniors say that cultivating immortality is about standing tall in the world. For tens of thousands of years, there have been countless talented cultivators in the human world, but no one has ever used scientific thinking to explore what cultivation is. Now that I am here, I say. Cultivating immortals is the subjective action of cultivators who use their own spiritual roots to absorb the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, and then condense their skills to increase their maximum magical power. So, the essence of cultivating immortals is to increase one's own maximum mana. As for how to improve. In the past year, Luo Hong has derived the first law of immortal cultivation, version 1.0. F equals 0.3 W, Pa, internal, in the world of mortals, cultivators can sense the spiritual energy between heaven and earth through their spiritual roots and absorb it into their bodies. Since it exists, it is science. Luo Hong knows that he has no ability to study the essence of spiritual roots, but it does not hinder his research on the application of spiritual roots. According to his research, spiritual roots are equivalent to receivers that specialize in absorbing spiritual energy, and spiritual roots of different qualities are receivers of different powers, that is, W. Luo Hong is a fourth-level spiritual root. In order to facilitate his future cultivation, he defined the power of his receiver as one. F is the increment of maximum mana per unit time, day, which is the cultivation speed. In addition to the quality of spiritual roots, the concentration of spiritual energy in the cultivation site also affects F, which is called spiritual pressure, Pa. However, when Luo Hong delved deeper into his research, he found that the external spiritual pressure was not a direct influencing factor, but rather the spiritual pressure inside the cultivator's body. Luo Hong defined the concentration of spiritual energy in her body as one spiritual pressure when she did not use any auxiliary means. The first layer of qi refining is the starting point for cultivating immortals. At this stage, cultivators will practice their first strand of magic, achieving a breakthrough in the maximum limit of magic from scratch. Luo Hong defined the increment of this first strand of mana as one mana. In the original owner's memory, during his first cultivation, he did not swallow any other pills except for the Pai Gu Dan, and it took him about three days to break through to the first level of qi refining. Later, Luo Hong collected multiple sets of her own cultivation data and preliminarily obtained the first cultivation coefficient in history. 0.3 Luo Hong was not a mathematician in his past life, and his deduction process was obviously not perfect. However, he only wanted to use scientific thinking to help him cultivate himself, rather than persistently exploring the essential laws of the mortal world. That is probably something that only Daozu can do. After Luo Hong initially obtained the certain law of cultivating immortals, he began to verify its accuracy. As a traveler, Luo Hong also has a golden finger, which he refers to as the personalized medical examination form, somewhat like a character panel in a game but not exactly the same. The main function of this golden finger is to display Luo Hong's current personal data, and to add or delete entries and change the definition unit of the data as he wishes. At present, it looks like this. Name. Luo Hong Realm. Three layers of gas refining, four-fourths energy. Three mana. Seven divine consciousness. 
1 Spirit Root Quality 1 Meridian Strength 20.2, the limit at which the current meridian can withstand internal spiritual pressure, internal spiritual pressure. 1.2, stable, external spiritual pressure. 2, stable, the countdown to the full cycle of gas refining. 22,733 days, approximately 62 years, now, with only these data available, Luo Hong has asked it to display them. Over the past year, he has conducted experiments using this golden finger to control variables and ultimately obtain the first law of cultivation. However, data collected in the past decade or so indicates a slight increase in the coefficient of 0.3. It is estimated that this may be related to his first small breakthrough in the refining period, which may face modifications. Therefore, Luo Hong said that it is version 1.0. Returning to the present moment, Luo Hong felt the rich spiritual energy in the room that was far stronger than in the past, and couldn't help but praise. Undoubtedly, Huangfeng Valley, which ranks among the seven major sects, is a place where ordinary disciples' cultivation is twice as good as the best outside world. With my qualifications, it takes 62 years without eating, drinking, or moving to reach the perfect stage of qi refining. The actual time required is definitely over a hundred years. No wonder people do not value the fourth grade spiritual root. Generally, cultivators of the fourth grade spiritual root have no hope of building a foundation. Fortunately, I have successfully obtained what I want, and as long as it is verified to be feasible, my cultivation will progress rapidly for a period of time. Luo Hong understands the despair of the future better than any fourth grade spiritual root cultivator in this world, but she harbors the confidence of surpassing all cultivators in the qi refining stage. Just because he understands the mystery of cultivating immortals, there is always a way to build a foundation successfully. With an array, the arrangement of the spirit gathering array is very simple. When Luo Hong puts four low dot level spirit stones into the array, a blue spiritual energy light curtain is quickly generated, ultimately forming a hemispherical space with a diameter of about two zhang. The gathering spirit formation began to operate, and nearby heaven and earth spiritual energy rushed in. After being filtered by a light curtain, only water spiritual energy could enter the gathering spirit space. Luohong did not practice and waited for two hours in the spiritual gathering space for meditation. Finally, her spiritual pressure stabilized. The external spiritual pressure is about 8.0, which is better than I expected. Li Laozu didn't deceive me. Unfortunately, such a good spirit gathering array is a bit of a waste for me, after all, its ability to gather spirits shouldn't have many opportunities for me to use it. Luo Hong held a low dot level spirit stone with both hands and slowly exerted force. Chapter 3 Spirit Pressure Cultivation Technique You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. The spirit stone shattered, and the spiritual energy overflowed from it. However, due to the gathering spirit array, it was bound in the gathering spirit space, causing the spiritual pressure in the space to slowly rise. When the twelfth spiritual stone was crushed into powder in Luo Hong's hand, the spiritual pressure in the gathering space reached 20.0, and Luo Hong's internal spiritual pressure also rose to 4.8. At this point, Luo Hong no longer took out new spirit stones. He began to check the condition of the gathering spirit formation, and at least ten years of cultivation would rely on it, which must not be lost. After stopping absorbing spiritual energy, the speed of spiritual stone consumption on the array suddenly decreased by 90%. The gathering spirit formation operates at full power, and four spirit stones can only support about five days. In this standby state, I only need to replace the spirit stones every two months. The spirit rain master has two spirit stones salary per month to maintain the gathering spirit formation just right. After confirming again and again that there were no mistakes, Luo Hong sat cross-legged and the preparations were ready. The next moment was to witness the miracle. 
Huanglong Dan, the most common solid foundation and nourishing pill suitable for the qi refining period, can increase the internal spiritual pressure to about 5.0 after taking it, and its efficacy can last for 6 hours. There are 20 spirit stones in the bottle given by Li Huayuan, with a market price of around 20 yuan, but it is usually difficult to buy. Huan Long Dan is known for its mild medicinal properties, but when Luo Hong swallowed it, she had a serious expression. The pill tasted slightly bitter at the entrance, and then its power dissipated, causing Luo Hong's internal spiritual pressure to suddenly soar. 5.0, 10.0, 15.0, still rising. The concentration of spiritual energy in the meridians was getting higher and higher, and Luo Hong gradually felt some swelling and pain. Fortunately, when the internal spiritual pressure reached 20.0, the excess spiritual energy finally found an outlet to vent and spread out from various parts of Luo Hong's body. Success Luo Hong tried to control her excitement as much as possible, silently reciting the mnemonic to activate the spiritual energy in her meridians. As the weeks passed by, these spiritual energies were constantly refined into pure magic. The mana flows into the already abundant Dantian, gradually expanding and becoming stronger. The refined spiritual energy is synchronously filled with medicinal power, maintaining the internal spiritual pressure of Luo Hong unchanged. The stability of the internal spiritual pressure also controls the volatilization of the medicine. This round of cultivation by Luo Hong lasted for a whole day, increasing her maximum mana by six points in one breath. Not only did she successfully break through to the fourth level of qi refining, but she was also not far from the fifth level of qi refining. This kind of cultivation speed has surpassed that of a second level spiritual root cultivator. By simply utilizing internal and external spiritual pressure, Luo Hong bypassed the challenges that plagued countless pseudo spiritual root cultivators. The spiritual root is not good, come and gather the spiritual pressure. This does not contain much wisdom, but it is because there is no guidance from scientific thinking that it has been hidden in blind spots for tens of thousands of years. This cultivation method must not be spread externally, otherwise it will inevitably lead to a skyrocketing price of pills like Huanglong pill. With the large number of cultivators during the qi refining period, even the spiritual medicines used to refine these pills can be excavated and extinct which may cause a bloody storm sweeping across the entire continent. Alas, this happiness can only be borne by me alone. In fact, this is not the most perfect cultivation system, after all, it is subject to pills. The limit of a yellow dragon pill is to increase its maximum mana by six points. Even if I continue to strengthen my meridians and increase the internal spiritual pressure I can withstand, it can only shorten the time for me to refine my medicinal power. Only pills with stronger medicinal power can increase the increase in the maximum mana. If I could study more mysteries between external spiritual pressure and internal spiritual pressure, I could utilize the endless spiritual energy of heaven and earth, and use the spiritual pressure cultivation method to soar to the sky. The ability to control the heaven and earth spiritual energy of cultivators during the period of transforming into gods is a good starting point. How about getting in touch with them and giving them a bow as soon as Luo Hong was moved, the figure of Han Laomo retreating behind the crowd drifted past her. No, I can't just drift away just because of a momentary success. Hold on, hold on to it. After completing the cultivation, the spiritual pressure in the gathering space remained basically unchanged. Luo Hong got up and went to the main house, gradually urging the little rain cloud formation to bring rain to over a hundred acres of spiritual fields at the foot of the mountain. Sure you will last for an hour, fortunately Luo Hong's cultivation has just reached a new level, otherwise he would have scored twice to complete it. After finishing her work, Luo Hong meditated in the main room and restored the empty Dantian. After the Dantian was filled again, Luo Hong didn't rush to enter the gathering spirit formation to take medicine for cultivation. Instead, she used her magic to burn some hot water to take a bath. Taking off Huang Fengu's school uniform, Luo Hong revealed her fair skin, delicate and tender like a woman. 
Sitting in the bathtub, Luo Hong couldn't help but let out a long sigh of relief. After closing her eyes and enjoying herself for a moment, she used the imperial treasure technique to summon a storage bag and took out the white lotus pill she had exchanged from Li Huayuan yesterday. White lotus pill is a very unpopular pill that cannot be used to increase cultivation, and it is not taken orally, but for external use. Luo Hong threw a white lotus pill into the bath water, and saw that the white pill melted when it met water, instantly emitting the fragrance of a white lotus flower. Luo Hong took a long breath and plunged into the water, using a secret technique to absorb the medicinal power. This method is called Ice Skin Jade Bone Method, and is a low-dot-level body refining technique widely circulated among female cultivators. White Lotus Pill is a necessary condition for practicing the Ice Skin Jade Bone Technique. Its price is not expensive, but due to its extremely rare main ingredients, it is even more difficult to purchase than yellow dragon pill. The main purpose of female cultivators practicing the ice skin and jade bone technique is for its beauty and beauty benefits. However, because there are many cultivation techniques with similar effects, UU reading www.uukangshu. Net, female cultivators do not value this technique. Li Huayuan had so many white lotus pills in his hands, most likely because he had painstakingly searched from various places in the past to please his dual cultivation partner. As a male cultivator, Luo Hong did not intend to seduce Han Laomua by practicing this ice skin jade bone technique, but rather to enhance her own meridian strength. Through comparative experiments on multiple low-dot-level body refining techniques, Luo Hong concluded that the ice muscle and jade bone technique is superior to all low-dot-level body refining techniques in improving the flexibility of meridians. The ice skin jade bone technique has a total of 12 layers. Currently, Luo Hong has only refined the first two layers, and the strength of the meridians has increased by more than three points. Obviously, the prospects of this cultivation method are very promising. The sun and moon rushed through the gap like a white horse, and in the blink of an eye, Luo Hong had already been worshipped in Huangfeng Valley for more than a month. His Huanglong pill had already been consumed yesterday. Now Luo Hong's cultivation has reached the seventh level of qi refining, and the ice skin and jade bone technique has also broken through to the fourth level with sufficient accumulation of white lotus pills. Her skin color looks a bit whiter and more tender. Without the help of the yellow dragon pill, with Luo Hong's qualifications, sitting and practicing is a waste of time. Using the gathering spirit formation is even more costly, and using the lost spirit stones to purchase the yellow dragon pill can increase profits by more than ten times. Excuse me, Master Ma. Your spiritual herbs are planted very well. This time, I have found a treasure. Luo Hong came out of the hundred grass garden with a smile on his face. He took the opportunity to purchase the raw materials of the yellow dragon pill and came here to inquire. Han Laomua is not here, and the next Tainan small conference will be held in three years. Humph. You have a good eye you can come here often in the future. Ma Shibwa was extremely satisfied with Luo Hong's ease during the transaction. Definitely. If I don't crush your doorstep, I'll change my surname. Luo Hong thought so. Chapter 4 Sisters of the Li Family You are listening at Novel Full Audio. At the seventh level of gas refining, Luo Hong collected enough data to calculate the required mana to break through the subsequent levels. In fact, the demand for mana at each level during the gas refining period has been increasing regularly, from 1 to 7, in order of 1, 2, 4, 8. 64. If Luo Hong wants to reach the perfect level of qi refining, she still needs the maximum mana of 8000, which translates to 1333 Huanglong pills. It is almost impossible to obtain this quantity of Huanglong pills before befriending Han Lamo. So, Luo Hong just wants his cultivation to surpass the ninth level of qi refining in three years, so that he can establish a good friendship with Han Lamo as a senior brother. By the way, I still need to take some time to learn the five elements magic and replace Wu Feng as the magic teacher for Han Lamo. 
In order to make ten pieces of the spiritual medicine for refining Huanglong Dan, Luo Hong paid the price of fifty low dot level spiritual stones, which was slightly one or two yuan higher than the market price. However, if it left a good impression on Master Ma, this transaction was definitely a profit for Luo Hong's blood. Unfortunately, Master Ma is going to refine a pill for himself recently. Otherwise, with his level of alchemy, even if I have a few more spirit stones, I would have to ask him to refine the yellow dragon pill for me. Luo Hong stepped on green leaves and flew to the land of Xuanhua. Of course, he didn't want to refine pills himself. How could he afford to defeat this family without the palm heavenly vase? He came here to visit a senior sister whom he had already known in the clan. The land of Xuanhua is filled with intense fire, and there is no growth of plants or trees. If it weren't for the help of earth fire and alchemy, this place would definitely be a wicked place that no one would have imagined. These spiritual medicines from Junior Brother have excellent appearance, which can increase the chance of success by a few points. However, among the ten furnaces, Senior Sister, I can only guarantee the success of three furnaces. Moreover, for each furnace refined, no matter how many pills are divided, I have to take two of them. I wonder if Junior Brother can accept it Li Xiaowan checked the elixir brought by Luo Hong and proposed the preferential treatment she mentioned for her own family. Senior Sister, there is no need to underestimate herself. With her alchemy level, it is impossible for her to refine low dot level pills like Huang Long Dan with a success rate of less than 50%. Luo Hong is well aware of the abilities of this short round faced senior sister. She is now the first alchemist of the Li family in Huangfeng Valley, and she knows how many pills she refines for the family and sex every year. Huang Long Dan is not an obscure pill, and when refined, she can definitely become proficient. Ha! I heard so clearly. It seems like I can't scare you away. However, have you really figured it out? Are you going to use the only opportunity you had to invite me to refine pills on these yellow dragon pills? Li Xiaowan pursed her lips, feeling somewhat helpless and unhappy. She was unwilling to refine the Huang Long pill without any novelty, let alone refine it for ten rounds in one go. Junior brother has considered it very clearly, thank you, senior sister. Luo Hong bowed and bowed. Is this opportunity very valuable? In three years, I will be able to PY the future Tian Dan master, and this is the only opportunity for you to perform. Li Xiaowan's shoulders collapsed, and she immediately put on an expression of being unattainable. Just as she was about to wave her hand to make the annoying little white face in front of her get rid of her, she heard the noisy cries coming from the door. Sister, they found out where the Wushan Mountain on that ancient map is. A junior sister of the same age as Luo Hong ran into the lobby excitedly, with two blushes on her delicate and silly face, making her particularly cute. Xiao Qing, don't make a fuss. There are guests around, Li Xiaowan said but a smile appeared between her eyebrows and eyes, indicating that she loved her sister very much. It's you. Hey. You. Why did you practice to the seventh level of qi refining? Li Xiaoqin was introduced to Luo Hong together, and she was very impressed by the Luo Hong sent by her clan to make up the number. You have the face to say. When you first started, you were all at the third level of qi refining cultivation. However, because you were addicted to playing with your peers and neglected cultivation, you only broke through the fifth level of qi refining a few days ago. Brother Luo's cultivation today is far superior to Tongji's, which is all due to diligence. If you are envious, study hard. Huh, senior sister praised me falsely. I just take medication and take a bubble bath every day, which doesn't count as much diligence. Humph they don't want to learn from him. Sister, he's just a waste of pseudo-spiritual roots, how can he match their qualifications? Li Xiaoqing's words were filled with seven parts of dissatisfaction and three parts of jealousy. Brother Luo, is what Xiaoqing said true. As both cultivators during the qi refining period, Li Xiaowan couldn't see through Luo Hong's spiritual root qualifications at a glance. Hehe, <laughs> that's true. 
Luohong sneered in her heart, as this was indeed the world of cultivating immortals where the weak prey on the strong, and the pseudo-spiritual roots deserve to be cursed and discarded. In a moment, Luo Hong's good feeling for the beautiful sisters disappeared. Sister, you see he admitted it. If it weren't for him cheating with the spirit-gathering formation given to him by his ancestors, he wouldn't have lost to him. Li Xiaoqing angrily crossed his waist and said. I see, junior brother Luo, can I borrow your spirit-gathering formation from senior sister? If you agree, I can help you refine these ten furnaces of yellow dragon pills for free and pay some spirit stones. The conditions offered by Li Xiaowan are good, but Luo Hong does not want to accept them. Just using the spirit gathering formation for cultivation, even with the help of elixirs, it is impossible for a fourth grade spiritual root cultivator to break through from the third layer of qi refining to the seventh layer of qi refining within a month. Li Xiaowan and her team have not used the gathering spirit formation before and do not know its specific effects. Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net attributed the reason to this. But after experiencing it firsthand, they will inevitably feel something is wrong and want to explore the secret of my fast cultivation speed. So, I would rather not earn spiritual stones than take this risk. Luo Hong temporarily evaded using it on the grounds that she wanted to use it, not directly refusing because the yellow dragon pill had not yet been refined. Okay, senior sister, I'll wait for a while. Based on past experience, no one would easily offend an alchemist. Li Xiaowan realized that borrowing the gathering spirit formation was already a certainty, and in pleasure, she decided to seriously refine pills for Luo Hong. By the way, junior brother Luo, in a while, Xiao Qing and I will go out of the valley to experience some training. Would you be willing to accompany us? Experience. Luo Hong remembered the words, Gu Tu, and, Wu Shan, that Li Xiaoqing shouted when she entered the door, as if she saw a big blood red, danger, on Li Xiaowan's head, and her heart immediately beat back. Just kidding, I don't have a real talisman in my hand. Will I go out and experience it? No way. Sister. They don't want it. Luo Hong gave Li Xiaoqing a big thumbs up from the bottom of her heart and immediately descended the donkey's path. Elder Marshal Sister, don't let your younger Marshal brother hurt your sister's feelings. Compared with going out for training, younger Marshal brother prefers to practice in the valley. Leaving the land of Xuanhua, Luo Hong immediately flew to the market opened by Huangfeng Valley. He was preparing to exchange most of the remaining spiritual stones in his hand for materials for refining talismans. In the realm of cultivating immortals, one cannot lack the skill of earning spiritual stones. The common side jobs of cultivators include alchemy and refining tools, animal control and spiritual cultivation, and formation in talisman making. Luohong's selection of talismans was carefully considered. According to the principle of talismans, I should be able to have opportunities to explore. Chapter 5 The Beginning of Symbol Making You are listening at NovelFull.audio There are 3,000 avenues, and each one leads to Changsheng. These side jobs in the cultivation world are the same, there is no distinction between high and low in essence, but there is a huge difference in the difficulty of getting started in the early stages. The first is to seize the essence of spiritual medicine accumulated for thousands of years. The other is to take the treasure of heaven and earth or the scales and claws of monsters. The materials used are expensive. If there is no sect family as the backing, these two sidelines should not be considered. Beast control and spiritual cultivation may seem vastly different, but their core is actually the same. Whether it's cultivating spiritual beasts or planting spiritual medicines, as long as you follow the rules, there is basically no risk of failure. It's just that the benefits come too slowly, and the time cost paid by cultivators used to be heavy. In fact, it's more suitable for cultivation forces with territory to operate. The former is complex and difficult to understand, and although the unit price of various materials required is not expensive, the amount used is enormous. 
Fortunately, even if the formation fails, only a few of these materials will be damaged, otherwise playing with the formation will require more spiritual stones than refining pills and weapons. In fact, Luo Hong is very interested in the art of formation, after all, formation is the most intuitive way to demonstrate the wisdom of heaven and earth among these six side professions, and it is also the one that requires the lowest level of cultivation for learners. Even cultivators in the Qi refining period may not be unable to comprehend the grand array that amazed the old monsters in the Yuaning period. The reason why Luo Hong retreated and chose to make talismans was because she was short of money. Mr. Lu Sun once said, First fill your stomach, then pursue art. Upon entering the market, Luo Hong headed straight to the Tian Gong building, which was a large shop specializing in selling various sideline products for cultivating immortals. It was also the place where cultivators purchased various sideline raw materials. The cultivation level of qi refining seven layers is still too low in the cultivation world, and Luo Hong does not have any powerful treasures. Therefore, although this market is controlled by Huang Fengu, he still set a six-character policy of fast in, fast out, and fast return. Like most large shops, Tiangong building is divided into two floors. The downstairs is a place for selling ordinary goods, while the upstairs stores expensive boutiques and even treasures. This can separate the cultivators with significant differences in cultivation, allowing both parties to choose products more freely. Luo Hong had no plans to go to the second floor, and the dazzling array of goods on the first floor just swept by. He directly approached his assistant and reported what he wanted. Guest, are you sure you want two thousand yellow talismans, but only one can of Moyan frog demon blood? That can only be used to make around twenty talismans. All cultivators purchase complete sets of talisman-making materials. The young disciple from Huangfeng Valley in front of them bought the cheapest yellow talisman paper in a storage bag, while only a small amount of ink was needed for the high dot quality water movement talisman. Fuji and Fumo are far inferior in both quantity and quality. The staff at Tianginglu really confused Luo Hong with this move. That's right, get me another high dot quality rune pen. Luo Hong took out over 40 spiritual stones and stacked them into a small pile on the counter. That day, the workers immediately stopped talking and quickly prepared the goods that Luo Hong needed. After checking for accuracy, Luo Hong did not stop and left the no fly zone of the square city without stopping. The imperial envoy, Qingye Faki, headed straight for Fanghua Garden. What Luo Hong didn't know was that in the dense forest hundreds of meters behind him, a man in yellow had been following him since he left the neighborhood. Seeing Luo Hong's imperial weapon gradually flying away, Huang Yi's face showed an extremely unwilling expression. He had the idea of continuing to pursue it, but after careful consideration, he ultimately did not implement it. After losing his prey, the man in yellow did not leave, so he meditated in place. After about a stick of incense, a big man with a face full of flesh came panting. Where is the fat sheep? Where is the fat sheep? Humph, you came so slowly. Even if there were fat sheep, they would have entered the sheep pen long ago. The person in yellow is feeling unhappy, and their tone of voice seems a bit aggressive. Grandpa, when I received your message, I rushed with all my might. Why didn't you notify me earlier? Do you want to take it alone? The big man is not used to the faults of the man in yellow, pointing at his nose is like shouting. Who knows if that kid has lost his father or mother at home. He runs faster than a rabbit. He really left the spirit stone and ran away. The more the person in yellow thought about it, the more depressed he became. It was precisely because he felt that Luo Hong was very experienced that he did not take the risk to intercept alone. Did someone notice that we were doing business? Otherwise, how could that kid be so vigilant? Despite the rough appearance of the great man, he is a person with delicate thoughts. Not only did he not scold the man in yellow, but he also considered the right thing. The person in yellow trembled at the words and after a moment of silence, nodded and said. 
There is a possibility that we have been intercepting the lone cultivator here for many years. Although we are very cautious every time, over time, some flaws will be revealed. De Han said, in three years, the Tainan small meeting will be held again. It's a big deal, so I think we should go ahead and step on it. Not bad, it's better to choose a day than to collide, then let's go. Both of them are decisive individuals, making decisions in just a few words. Making talismans is the cheapest of the six side jobs, requiring only one piece of talisman paper, a few points of talisman ink, and a few points of mana. The cost of adding ten talismans is often lower than a spiritual stone. Compared to alchemy that requires at least ten spiritual stones to open each furnace, UU reading www.uukangshu.net is a world of difference. It is precisely this low cost that makes the vast majority of financially strapped cultivators have the idea of making talismans to earn spiritual stones, and many of them have put it into action, but the vast majority have ended up losing money. It is said that without tens of thousands of trials and tribulations, even the lowest level lower level talismans cannot guarantee a success rate above the qualified line, just because one needs to learn how to refine a talisman. In the gathering spirit formation, Luo Hong had prepared for making talismans. The yellow talisman paper laid out in front of him was refined from the roots and stems of the spirit valley, which was why it was so cheap that a single spirit stone could buy a hundred pieces. Price represents quality, and good talisman paper can increase the success rate of making talismans. Therefore, beginners usually use a dozen green talismans paper with a spirit stone. Yellow talisman paper is used to save costs when a cultivator completes a certain talisman making technique and begins mass production. The so dot called talisman is a weapon that uses talisman paper as a carrier to store the cultivator's magic, and converts this part of the magic into spells through the patterns on the talisman paper during use. Why is the prerequisite for refining water bullet talismans to learn water bullet technique? Why can good rune paper improve the success rate of making runes? What is the fundamental reason why the talisman paper will self-ignite and be damaged after a failed talisman creation? All the talisman makers in the world of cultivation are using empirical methods to approach these issues. They are not lacking in ability, but simply ignoring the past. Is there anything else to say about a simple question like 1 plus 1 is equal to 2? If you don't know water bullet art, you just can't make water bullet talisman. Didn't your master teach you? A good rune paper can increase the success rate, otherwise why sell it so expensive? Do you still want the rune paper to be good after all the rune making failures? You're thinking nonsense. Chapter 6 Insight into the Study of Talismans You are listening at NovelFull.audio the difference between yellow rune paper and blue rune paper lies only in the amount of mana they can hold. Yellow rune paper can bear less mana, while blue rune paper can bear more mana. Therefore, the more mana there is in rune paper, the higher the success rate of making runes. Luo Hong muttered to herself while holding a pen and dropping her words onto a piece of paper. It is Luo Hong's habit to think about problems in this way, and he thinks it will make his thinking clearer. The material of talisman paper determines the capacity of mana. The main difference between Lingu rhizome and Lingfu grass is the spiritual energy it contains. Lingu rhizome has less spiritual energy, while Lingfu grass has more spiritual energy. Therefore, the amount of spiritual energy in the material determines the capacity of its mana. Since it is related to the amount of spiritual energy, it is mostly related to internal spiritual pressure Luo Hong stood up and walked outside the gathering spirit formation, slowly pouring magic into a yellow talisman paper held between her fingertips. When the magic broke through the limit of the yellow talisman paper, it was damaged in multiple places and quickly burned. Oh it seems that breaking through the constraints of the rune paper with mana is the direct reason for the burning of the rune paper. Looking at the current physical examination data, Luo Hong consumed approximately 3.5 mana. Returning to the gathering spirit formation, Luo Hong repeated the previous action, and this time the yellow talisman paper clearly persisted for a longer time. When the talisman paper finally ignited, 
Luo Hong infused a total of 15 mana. From the outside to the inside, the external spiritual pressure has increased by 10 times, but the mana capacity has only increased by a little over 4 times. It seems that rune paper also has limitations similar to meridian strength, which cannot be infinitely increased by increasing the external spiritual pressure. Due to the inability to observe the internal spiritual pressure of the rune paper, Luo Hong was unable to establish a complete mathematical model. However, this experiment has shown that increasing the external spiritual pressure can significantly increase the mana capacity of the rune paper. So now, as long as I understand why increasing mana capacity can increase the success rate of talismans, I can make use of the results of this experiment. Luo Hong recalled the symbol-making program described in the book. Program 1. When making talismans, one must work together in one go, from the first stroke to the end of the last stroke. The talisman pen must not leave the talisman paper, otherwise it will immediately fail. Guideline 2. When making specific talismans, one should visualize the process of casting corresponding spells in their mind, so that the flow of magic from the pen tip is close to the state of casting. As for the specific process of symbols described in the book, it is as follows. The first step is to write. At the moment of writing, the mana is poured from the rune pen into the rune paper, and most of it is constrained near the tip of the pen. The second step is to outline. Drag the pen tip and use magic to outline the rune pattern. Step 3. Collect the pen. When picking up the pen, retrieve the remaining mana. Constraining the mana near the tip of the pen will inevitably cause local high pressure, and the rune ink will inevitably play a buffering role in it, otherwise the rune paper cannot withstand it. But now that I have a high amount of external spiritual pressure assistance, may I not need runes to buffer it? Of course, this does not mean that there is no need for talisman ink to make talismans. The material of rune ink not only determines its buffering effect, but also determines its mana circulation, and rune ink also has the function of outlining rune patterns. However, the fluidity of mana can only be reflected when triggered by talismans. If we don't consider materials, only leave marks, and only practice without considering usage, wouldn't I be able to? Luohong's mind was constantly flashing with spiritual light, and his divergent gaze gradually focused on the ink in the inkstone. There is no problem in theory. Suppressing her immediate desire to give it a try, Luo Hong began to contemplate the most headache-inducing issue in talisman making. What kind of ghost is making the magic flow of the pen tip close to the state of casting? This is the most mysterious issue in talisman making. The popular way of thinking among talismans nowadays is to rely on feelings, and the process of failure is the process of finding feelings. And even more terrifying is that this feeling may vary from person to person. Because when famous talisman masters teach their disciples, there is nothing special about it, indicating that the feeling found by the master cannot be directly copied to the disciple. The process of a cultivator casting spells is to transform their own magic into a specific form of spiritual energy through specific meridian circuits. Water Bullet Technique a fist-sized water ball appeared at Luo Hong's fingertips, and he recalled the feeling of casting the spell just now. Magic surged out of the Dantian, passing through a large vein on the arm and two small veins on the two fingers, ultimately turning into water balls. Water bullet technique is a simple spell that only uses three meridians. These three meridians are straightforward and not complicated, so simulating them does not require complex runes that make people dizzy. Through the process of cultivation and casting spells, it is evident that the meridians play a role as a processing plant assembly line. The meridians through which spiritual energy flows are processed into magic, while the meridians through which magic flows are processed into spells. That is to say, cultivators believe that they have used their divine sense to perceive the entire meridian, but in reality, they only see the conveyor belt on the assembly line. There is another true universe hidden in the meridians. Luo Hong suddenly had this thought, and suddenly felt a burst of transparency in her body and mind. Then, a magnificent heavenly power pressed down from his spiritual cover. 
Without any resistance, Luo Hong's divine consciousness was enveloped by the power of heaven, and in an instant, he entered the main vein of the arm to which Water Bullet belonged, and his magic involuntarily entered and began to operate. At this moment, the speed of the flow of magic in the meridians was slowed down by hundreds or even thousands of times. Luo Hong saw natural runes made of flesh and blood shining with silver light on the inner walls of the meridians. Zhaozhuyuan.com They are like workers on the assembly line, intricately working together to reshape the mana ball. At this moment, Luo Hong's state was also very strange. Faced with such an abnormal situation, he did not feel any panic, and his heart was devoid of joy and sorrow, as if he were in a legendary state of forgetfulness. Luo Hong watched the silver runes in a frenzy, and after a while, his divine sense was suddenly bounced back to the Naiwan Palace and all his emotions and thoughts returned. Looking at the water ball on her fingertips, Luo Hong felt it was so natural. Is this the epiphany described in ancient books? It's truly mysterious. Just now, my consciousness seemed to be connected to a huge and incomparable system, and that wouldn't be the heavenly Tao of the human world, right? However, Mr. Lu Sun once said, There is no perfect system in this world. If the heavenly way is similar to a system, wouldn't there be loopholes to exploit? With this thought in mind, Luo Hong suddenly felt her scalp tingling, and the sky echoed with muffled thunder. Damn it! Boss, I was wrong. The great terror between life and death almost scared Luo Hong to pee, and he quickly emptied all unnecessary thoughts. After the thunder subsided for a while, Luo Hong's mood finally calmed down. After hesitating for a moment, he shouted loudly. I want to go against the sky. The sky is still so blue, and the wind is still so light. After this attempt, Luo Hong basically understood what was happening earlier. I just finished my epiphany, and before the slightest connection with the heavenly way could be severed, a demonic thought arose. It's like the boss just gave me a bonus, but I shouted to rebel, and the result would definitely be being fired on the spot. Oh, I'm so stupid. How could I provoke the boss's reaction in person? This kind of thing, of course, can only be done after the boss leaves. Don't blame me for not being a good person, just blame the bonus given by the boss for being too good. Chapter 7 Simple Mode of System Symbols You are listening at NovelFull.audio in the sea of consciousness, the six silver runes fluctuate, and Luo Hong cannot fully understand them. She can only affirm that they are the foundation of this world, with a status equivalent to the atoms that make up all matter. Taking out a finished water bullet talisman bestowed by the family, Luo Hong could see the traces of the six silver runes at a glance from the complex runes. I changed to a water shield talisman, although it became more difficult, I could still distinguish the silver talisman among them. Luo Hong immediately realized that this ability was the biggest gain of his enlightenment, which meant that the runes summarized by the predecessors in the cultivation world through tens of thousands of years of experience would become his food, helping him quickly master a large number of silver runes. It is not clear what benefits this will bring to Luo Hong's future cultivation, but what can be certain now is that he has entered a simple mode in talisman making. Spread out the yellow talisman paper, Luo Hong dipped some ordinary ink into the talisman pen and used her magic power to write. At the moment when the talisman pen came into contact with the talisman paper, extremely fine cracks appeared on the talisman paper, but due to the high dot strength external pressure, these cracks did not show any further expansion trend. Starting to outline, Luo Hong used the old method of relying on sensation to observe changes in mana and construct silver runes. The first symbol creation ended and unexpectedly failed. The outlined rune pattern is surrounded by small cracks, and as soon as it leaves the spirit gathering formation, there is no doubt that the rune paper will immediately burst and ignite. Moreover, the most crucial silver rune was not successfully constructed, and this rune is a complete failure. In addition, Luo Hong also found that her golden fingers can play a great auxiliary role in making symbols. Firstly, relying on medical examination data, Luo Hong can accurately control the magic power she uses, 
so it is impossible for the excessive amount of magic injected to burst the talisman paper, or the insufficient amount of magic injected to make the talisman unable to continue, or to affect the quality of the talisman. Secondly, due to Luo Hong's improved understanding of talismans, he can now see a new entry called, Completion Degree, on the talismans. Undoubtedly, this is of great help to Luo Hong in practicing talismanship. At the same time, he also became more clear about the essence of his golden finger, which is to accurately express his fuzzy understanding of things through data. 1, 2, 10, 100. Luo Hong was addicted to making talismans, and in his hands, the talisman pen was not confined to fixed forms, but lost all constraints. His goal is not to produce finished runes, but to study the relationship between mana flow, ink form, and silver runes. When the mana is depleted, one should meditate outside the spirit gathering formation to recover, while eating and drinking water are hastily resolved during the rain in the main room. Half a month passed in a blink of an eye, and thousands of yellow rune papers became waste. Luo Hong finally figured out the technique for drawing silver runes. The process here is somewhat like knowing the plain code and password, thus inferring the conversion relationship between the two. Half a month of neglecting sleep and food made Luo Hong look a bit haggard, but he decided to make a finished water bullet talisman and then rest well. Pick up the pen, dip it in the blood of the Moyun frog demon, and use four mana to concentrate on the tip of the pen. As the pen fell, Luo Hong's wrist moved lightly, outlining the rune pattern in an instant. Collect the pen without taking away any mana, and make talismans. The water bullet talismans made by Luo Hong are only slightly different from those sold on the market, but anyone who knows the goods can see that his water bullet talismans are full of magic, and the runes contain spiritual light. They must be superior talismans with far greater power than their counterparts and can be triggered very quickly. After enjoying the first talisman she made for a while, Luo Hong returned to her bedroom and fell asleep. After sleeping for more than seven hours, Luo Hong lazily woke up from his dream. After a little awakening, he took out the equipment for making talismans and in one go, he even made three high dot quality water bullet talismans in a row. If the masters of making talismans outside know about this, they will be amazed and envious to death. They wish to fast and bathe for three days before making talismans, and even this cannot guarantee that their most skilled talismans can be successfully displayed. And Luo Hong has a 100% success rate just by doing it casually after waking up. This is completely incomparable. This is the difference between creating symbols based on intuition and understanding the principles. For Luo Hong, as long as he understands the symbols thoroughly, there is no mention of failure rate. Moreover, his method of making talismans that directly points to the essence of talismans can bypass a major constraint that troubles all talismans, which is that they do not need to first learn the corresponding spell to create the corresponding talisman. They only need to be familiar with the silver runes contained in the talisman. Continuing to draw the water bullet talisman no longer gives Luo Hong any improvement, which makes him feel dull and uninteresting. I'm drawing water bullet talismans now, it's like copying a book, it's boring. Is it? Hey. Wait, copying a book. If I could simulate the process of making my own talismans using formations, wouldn't it be possible to achieve a technological explosion from manual to printing? This. This is very promising. Luo Hong was extremely excited about this idea. If it could really be achieved, it would be a complete subversion of the existing talisman making industry in the cultivation world. Formation, I must learn formation in the future. Miss Xian, I suddenly feel that Qi Yun Xiao is not worthy of you. Hee <laughs> hee, if this formation can be completed, I will call it water bullet talisman refining into a great formation. Luo Hong kept this matter in mind and devoted herself to the study of the water shield talisman. Junior brother, your talisman is just a junior lower level. It's just right to exchange it for a spirit stone. If you insist on having two, senior brother, I won't exchange it. Outside the Chuangong Hall, 
Luo Hong was negotiating with a male disciple with ten levels of cultivation in qi refining, looking unsightly. That's right, if senior brother Xia is willing to exchange, he's taking care of you. Don't be disrespectful. The male disciple is also accompanied by a good dot looking female disciple. It seems that the two of them are in a romantic relationship on Shuyuan www.xiaoshuyuan.com, and that gang tone is very helpful. Luo Hong is well aware that selling two spiritual stones per talisman is absolutely reasonable. Normally, the other party can still make a small profit, after all, those average-looking junior and lower-level talismans can sell one spiritual stone. His superior appearance makes no sense to be at the same price as it. Speaking of which, the reason why Luo Hong sold talismans outside the Chuan Gong Hall was because he had used up all the materials for making talismans two days ago and didn't frequently leave the sect to go to the market. The Bai Chiao Hall, which collects talismans inside the sect, was also deceiving his own people and came up with a solution in desperation. The senior brothers and sisters who were watching didn't know whether they had poor eyesight or were hanging high and indifferent, and none of them spoke for Luo Hong. Okay, senior brother Xia, how many do you want? Luo Hong doesn't want to waste any more time. Anyway, whether it's selling for one or two yuan, he earns it with blood. I don't have any more of these twenty pictures that have been put out. Who would buy twenty low dot level talismans in one go? There aren't many left. I think junior brother, you have lost your spirit stone eye. I'll take it all. The disciple surnamed Xie took out twenty spirit stones and swept away the talismans arranged by Luo Hong. His movements were so agile that he seemed afraid that Luo Hong would retract. Ha, huh, thank you very much, junior brother. Junior sister, let's go. The disciple surnamed Xie pulled over the female disciple with a swollen face and walked away, feeling delighted in his heart. He he, good day, senior brother Xie. Seeing this situation, Luo Hong didn't even know that this person was a discerning person. I'm afraid he bought my talisman and would immediately sell it to the local market to earn a price difference. Senior brother Xie, right. Let's meet later. I have always been serious about taking revenge.